All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is another GMS Raleigh collaboration once again. I'm the brother Naquam. On the brother Goodell. And before we go any further with this Lord's with the edifying lesson, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to his only begotten Son, Yahweh. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and her well. And shalom to the sincere Akim that's out there laboring the four corners of the earth to the best of their abilities. All right, out of the fear, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, you know? So you go ahead, bro. Uh, yep. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. That's plain. Okay. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorant called God and Jesus Christ said that they the ones that bring evil on the planet earth as well as the good times you know so the evil that's going on which is going uh, going into bad times you know like the thing with this these different strikes and all that that's going to affect the grocery stores and the economy and all that that's sent from you have about shit me have a shot man you know the lord is intensifying the lord is, is making these priorities more more moving more faster and faster man you know we're living at a time where things are going to get more comfortable. Things are going to get more tighter, you know, and we and we happy about it. We glad, man. You know, we 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 we, we reiterate this all the time, beginning with our elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone that we tired of Babylon and great America, man. We tired of these proud ass people. We tired of wickedness, man. So the fact that the Lord, you know, is bringing these bad times and intensifying them is making us more happier, man. You got it, bro. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me bring it out in the NLT. Salakia. This is the book of Isaiah 45, verse 7, NLT. It says, I create the light and make the darkness. I send good times and bad times. I, the Lord, Yahabah Shemal Shah, am the one who do these things. So just like with that hurricane, all right, Hurricane Helene that was sent from the Lord. These different strikes that's going on now. All right, that's sent from Yahweh Bashim al Shah. The spirit creative avengers getting down. The, hey, that's all sent from the Lord, man. All right, to bring evil upon you, wicked ass people. All right, especially you Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians who don't want to repent. You got it, bro. Uh, this is the book of Amos, chapter three and verse six. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, have not done it? That's right. And shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? And the trumpet is being blown is the scriptures, man. The 100 percent truth according to the Bible by the men of the Lord, beginning with our elder apostles slash elder bishops, a great millstone on dial, man. All right. Every major the city in america as the men of the lord likewise in these different countries man okay so you ain't got no excuse jake all right we're telling you that things are going to testify things are going to get worse so things are going to get more uncomfortable man according to the bible you know that's why they spirit been heavy on the elder apostles to say be uh prepared to get more uh uh, 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 uh comfortable with being uncomfortable man you know because things are getting more tighter and tighter and that's how it's supposed to go down. Who bringing it to bad times? The Lord. You got it, bro. You want to say something on that? Uh, nah, nah, brother. You got it. God. Yep. This is the book of Jeremiah 11 and 11. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And right, though you can't they escape the for the Lord, man. All right. You can you can uh, try to uh, plan your way out of situations, but that's not going to help you, man. Because whatever the Lord says is going to go. OK. Y'all about controls every position, every estate and every condition in life, man. 
Never break it out after you print it out. You got it, bro. God, and it says, and though they shall cry unto me, I would not hearken unto them. That's right. The Lord ain't hear your prayers, your cries. All right. The Lord ain't the Lord. Because you know what? You you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You had the minute you got the minute Lord out there week in the week out and day in the day out on the internet. And before a bad time comes, what do you do? You be prideful. Okay. You mock the scoff. You ignore the words of the Lord until the Lord brings something major like that hurricane. And now you got these different strikes. Okay. And Jake, you know what I'm saying? Uh, still ain't paying attention, man. You know, but, but when it really goes down, that's when you Jake's going to want to repent, but it's going to be too late. All right. You're going to run to repent during the time of Jacob's trouble when his uh, troops walking up and down the street. You know what I'm saying? And getting down on you, on you, on you, Jakes, man, on you people with these heathens. You got it, bro. That was uh, it on yep. that. Yep. This is the uh, this is the book of Second Ezra. Right Let me bring this out right quick. This is uh, the book of uh, um, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter eleven, verse fourteen. Prosperity. And adversity, right? What, what's when, you, when you're prospering, you're doing good. See, before Hurricane Helene hit, okay, everybody was doing well. Everybody was uh, living it up, murphing it up. You know, they the, even the women said on the news, on the different reports, they said they thought this could never happen to them, man. Well, guess what? The Lord, the, anything can happen to anybody, man. You know, life and death is in the hands of the Lord. You know, so when you're doing good or whether you're catching hell, it says life and death, poverty and riches, whether you're homeless. You got a lot of homeless people that got deleted because they ain't had no really nowhere to go during that hurricane like that. You know, it says uh, and riches, whether you're a celebrity and you're being uh, plagued in the mind and you're getting exposed. All right. That's the Lord bringing pure hell on you. Come of the Lord. Yahweh So no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are in life, your position. Your status, it was all of you. How about you? How was shot? You got it, bro. God, this is the book of Second Edris, chapter 15 and 5. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh about Hashem, how was shot. I will bring plagues upon the world, the right. sword, famine, death, and destruction, aka bad times, the times that we're living in now. Okay. We're living in the time of uh Second Timothy's the third chapter, man. About the perilous times, man, and they're here. All right. Peril goes into dangerous, risky, you know. That's why we got to be walking circumspectly to the best of our abilities, man. And always having our minds meditate upon these scriptures, you know? Because these people are feeling it, they're catching hell, and the Lord's gonna intensify it, man. And those that are still prideful, hey, don't worry. Because the Lord's going to have that great humbling come, that great adversity, which is going to be called Jacob's trouble, man. So those that are still proud now, yeah, you be a that, 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 uh, that Jacob's trouble, man, you know, you're under town, martial law, you know, truth walking up and down the street, invading your homes, you know, doing all, doing anything they want to do, what they think in their mind they want to do to you, they're going to do it. To you and your family. You got it, bro. God, brother. And if I could land back on what you were saying, because it mentioned the sword, yeah. man. And, and Donald Dunk, Donald Duck, he's sending these uh he's, he's sending these officers to you, uh, you Israelites community, man. You know, he said he told he mm. told them to do what they gotta do. All right, See? so what's that? You know, that's like that. Uh <laughs> that's your, it's gonna be like the movie The Purge out here soon come, man. Everything soon, soon to be chaotic, man. It's soon to be uh all anarchy, man. All hell about to break loose in the streets. That's right. And it's all true according to the Bible. You've been warned, man. And we look, you know what I'm saying? You've been warned. The Lord gave you plenty of warning. So when the Lord brings the justice, a.k.a. the judgment, hey, there'll be no excuse. Because we don't like us anyway. The Lord don't like you first and foremost, and we don't like you. Yeah, anything else, brother? God, I was holding that uh, Ezekiel seven for you. It, this that book. This the book of Ezekiel oh, chapter God. seven, and verse five. It says, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, and evil and only evil, behold, is come." 
by evil and only evil beholders come and they're here bad times are here and major ones too like we just we just uh talked about the hurricane when there's gonna be more to come okay you got the strikes you know what i'm saying the, the protesters you know that's going to affect the grocery stores the gro the grocery markets things are going to get more tighter with that and people are already uh trying to aid you know what i'm saying in different parts of uh, north carolina so everybody's buying up supplies and all that you know things are going to get tighter man you know and who's bringing it you have about shimmy how was shy and then the brother godout just went into how uh uh dj you know who you know uh, but it, uh pretty much told the uh the, the force to do whatever they want to man to you jakes you so-called negroes latinos and native american indians to bring the crime down man so pretty much he's saying listen if you want crime to go down we got to delete a lot of you uh you 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 uh jakes man that's why he said do any means necessary hey man you know this jake got the warning you, you want to say something about that bro uh yeah, and I was just gonna say he said Negroes and Latinos for you uh you Negro only Israelites. See, yep, that's right. You know, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians who are the biblical Hebrews are like according to the sea line of your father. Things are going to get worse for you. Things are going to get tighter, and it don't matter who in the hell goes in the in the office. Things are going to get worse for you, Jakes, man. Okay, and you hear this too, but you're gonna get your judgment anyway. But I was specifically focusing on you, Jakes. All right, things are gonna get worse no matter who gets in office, man. Because why? Because it's all in the hands and the plans of you. How about shit? Me, how was shot? That was it, bro. Yeah, yeah, that was it on that. So, hey, with that, you know, we pray that this lesson was edifying. You know, just going into how the Lord is the one bringing the bad times. So as things get more uncomfortable, things get more tighter. Just keep on fearing the Lord, trusting the Lord, and having faith in the Lord, and keep on fighting the good fight of faith to the best of our abilities, man. Our prayers are being answered, man. As things are getting worse for these people, although we're in the midst of it, these are praying. Can't thank you how much you are shy enough, man. So Antos on God's son, Yahweh, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikakorash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the sincere Akimists out there pushing the 100% truth according to the Bible throughout the whole planet of Earth to the best of their abilities, man. Hey, with that, Shalom to the elect. Shalom to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.